How do you get professionals involved in your first film projects? What up everybody? Welcome to the vlog number two. My name is Philip Rashid and I thank you for the overwhelming positive reactions on the first vlog. So this week's question came to me from uh, Sachin through YouTube and his question basically is How do you motivate film professionals to help you out in your first film projects? But before we go there, I had another question through Instagram from Charmfinity. And Charmfinity asked me, Phil, before you start giving tips and tricks to everybody, I would like to know what your background is and how did you get where you are right now? Good point. So in short, 20 years ago, I started out as an actor. Karin, Jay, Azalaya. You want me to betray my friends? Adrian. I know you're not going to let me see her. I know that. You're going to send me back. I say, okay. Worked on soap series, drama series, comedy series, been a host on TV. Your coke is pure. <laughs> pure shit. <laughs> we don't pay for shit. I grew up with hip hop culture, so in the meanwhile, I was always active as a b-boy, traveled the world. <laughs> I didn't go to acting school, I didn't go to film school. I don't have blonde hair, blue eyes, so I didn't really fit the bill on TV or in the film in Holland. I figured, um, let me create my own opportunities. So I borrowed a camera from a friend, could use the computer in the weekend. I made a little short, showcasing my talent as a filmmaker. Internet platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, etc, etc, didn't exist back then, so my content was mostly screened on TV. And of course, you could also see me in front of the camera. Nowadays, I'm blessed to make short films, help others with their short films, direct a lot of commercials, and working on my new projects. Back to your question, Sachin. How do you get professionals motivated to work on your films, especially as a beginning filmmaker? First, you have to understand that being a professional means you own your craft and are being paid for it, and this is your livelihood. With that being said, I have three tips for you. Of course, these tips are from my experience, from my vision, and from my perspective. One. With every project, the most important thing is having a good idea. And the moment you have a good idea, write it down on paper into a script. Make sure it's formatted right, there's no spelling mistakes. And if your story works and the scenes are good and the dialogue works, people will get excited right away. Tip two. Before looking for professionals to help you on your film, you might wanna look in your circle of family and friends. There might be some very talented people there that can help you out in every shape or form. Tip number three. If you want to have professionals work on your project, it means they cannot work on something else that pays the bills. So make sure you are well prepared before you make that step. Make sure your script is right. Have everything organized. Be on time. Communicate. Give credit. If you approach a professional to help you out on your production, you only get one shot at a good impression. The moment you mess up that shot, your reputation is gone. Professionals also started somewhere and beginning filmmakers don't always have the funds or the means to pay the full price. So maybe you can make a deal. They can work for a reduced price and you can help them out on another production, for example. And if professionals don't want to be on board, just believe in yourself and keep it moving. Oh, yeah. So Sachin, I hope that answered your question. For everybody else out there, it's a film community. The film community is small. If you ask people to help you out on your production, you might want to return the favor. In the region, the film industry is still pretty young. But luckily we got organizations like Arab Film Studio in Abu Dhabi that scouts, nurtures new film talent, guides them through the whole process and connects them with professionals in the industry. In 2014, I was part of the Narrative AFS program. It surely helped me to become a professional filmmaker. Check out the link below in the description and make sure to apply. 
That was it for episode number two. Make sure you tune in next week. If you have questions, remarks, make sure to comment right below. Subscribe here, there, everywhere. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or check my webmail out. Peace!